Hey guys, what is up? The boy Gerald here and welcome to another video. So in this video, we will go over another awesome build in Ghost of Tsushima, one that is perfect for an all-around playing style that does not really focus on a single playing style but can perfectly be combined with stealth and samurai combat due to its armor set and the combined charms. But before we are heading into the details, if you haven't already dropped a like, it would be really appreciated. And for more Ghost of Tsushima content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. So with that being said, let's get into the details. So I already made quite some builds in Ghost of Tsushima, however I keep coming back to this specific build with which I can easily switch between a stealth and samurai playing style. And one that I can just have an overall good time with in Ghost of Tsushima. The build at which we are going to have a look is the all purpose build in the game. This build is really fun to play with and also really easy to make, at least when you collected the right charms needed for this build. Furthermore, I personally really like to play a bit stealthy in this game and that can easily be done with this build. However, when being spotted, this build will stand its ground when switching to the direct samurai combat approach. But how do you make this build for yourself? Let's have a look. So in order to make this build for yourself, you will need the ghost armor, which you will receive from Taka at the end of Act 2 in the story. And when you first get it, it doesn't really look special, but once upgraded, the ghost armor will look really awesome due to its cape and small details. But you not only want to upgrade it for its looks, but definitely also for its stats, which focus on stealth, the ghost stance and the terrify effect. So when fully upgraded, the first stat of the ghost armor will decrease the enemy detection speed by 50%. Furthermore, the second perk will decrease the kills without damage taken needed for ghost stance by 2. So you'll only need 3 kills without getting damage in order to use the ghost stance. And at last, the armor will increase the chance that enemies will be terrified after a kill by 40%. And to top the build off in terms of looks, I went with the ghost mask and the ghost headband just to complete the whole ghost look. And then on to the part where we can make the build really all purpose since now with the ghost armor we primarily focus on the terrify effect and stealth. So what you want to do now to make this build all purpose is focus on increasing health and damage, resolve gains and ghost weapon damage to increase all important aspects needed in direct combat. So first up I went with the charm of Mizu no Kami which makes parries, perfect parries and dodges easier to perform giving you a bit of a bigger window to perform these. Second the charm of Amaterasu since it will provide some health on kill just for that health boost when playing on a higher difficulty, hard plus or lethal plus. Then I picked the charm of resistance 3 which reduces all damage by a major amount and personally I think this one is necessary since the ghost armor does not provide any health increase in itself. And next up I selected the charm of silence mainly for its massive amount of resolve gains for those special attacks. And also to turn up the reduction of the enemy detection speed by another 15%. The fifth charm is the charm of advantage in order to increase the ghost weapon damage by another 20%. And at last the charm of Inari's might which increases health and melee damage by a massive amount. And this one you actually get by completing a great number of Inari shrines located throughout the map. So definitely try to do these as much as you can early on in the game to get this one. And that is that. The combination of the ghost armor and the selected charms really make it a fun to play with and easy and accessible build since it handles itself well in direct encounters when choosing to approach a combat situation head on as well as in stealth situations where you don't want to be seen as quickly. Also switching between the two playing styles can be done pretty easy when for example being spotted and are pushed to take on the fight directly. So I have to say that I'm really enjoying my time with this build in Ghost of Tsushima as it is my go-to build when I just want to play around a bit and don't want to have a build that specifically focuses on for example damage or fire or the terrifying effect. So with that all being said, this in my opinion is the best all-purpose build in Ghost of Tsushima, where you don't want to focus on specific stats. 
I would definitely advise you to try this easy build out for yourself and let me know in the comments what you thought of this build. Also if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like as it would be very much appreciated and I can see that you are enjoying the content. And for more Ghost of Tsushima content make sure to subscribe to the channel. As always thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.